have to creep on children train. Today we're going to talk about literally the worst apology in the history of the internet. Well, maybe in the history of mankind, even off of the internet. Miss Colleen Ballinger decided to grace us with her presence, finally, uh, after not saying anything this whole time uh, among all of these accusations that have been made against her, uh, she decided to come on with a ukulele. Gaslight people, victim blame people, uh, lie, uh, take no accountability, all while singing for us, because that is just what we needed, guys, right? Wow, wow. I did manage to screen record her crazy apology that wasn't an apology. I mean, and, you know, she starts off and she's calling it the toxic gossip train. Like, she's pretty much bringing up, like, cancel culture. Everybody's trying to cancel her. Nobody cares about the truth. What about Adam McIntyre, Colleen? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Words look like facts if you don't mind the gaps that won't survive in the crash. But hey, at least you're having fun. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? Did you care when everybody was dogpiling Adam McIntyre? Did you care when all the gossip and rumors about Adam were going around? You didn't give a shit about Adam. In fact, you pushed people to go after him and make videos and call him out. That was okay, though. It's okay if the toxic gossip train isn't after Colleen. If the toxic gossip train is after Adam McIntyre or anybody who Colleen doesn't like, it's totally fine, guys. It's unbelievable. She's just straight trash, you guys. I'm going to leave her dumbass apology video down below so you can go watch it all yourself, like, in its entirety, because it was something else. It was literally something. I just could not believe this is how she chose to respond. And her PR team even told her, according to her, that she shouldn't respond this way and or say what she wanted to say. I wonder why, Colleen. Because there's proof. There are facts to back up what people are saying about you. It's all been proven. There's no speculation, rumors, and gossip. It's all straight facts and receipts, bitch. People got the receipts, bitch. And you are seriously going to sit on there with your dumbass ukulele and your ugly fucking bangs and sit there and act like you didn't do any of this and you're just a creepy aunt at the party? I'm sorry, but if your auntie is grooming children and making inappropriate sexual jokes with children, there's a problem. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. In a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. Where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. Uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, That was me, but in group chats with my fans. I really don't know how Colleen's going to come back from this because her response is literally the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. This isn't petty drama. This isn't like, oh, I said something racist 12 years ago or, oh, I got into drama with my friends. This is the literal grooming of children, being inappropriate with children. These are very serious accusations and facts have been brought to all of these accusations and allegations. So how she's going to sit there and just make fun of it like it's a toxic train of gossip, it's all for entertainment. I'm sorry, who is entertained by children being groomed? Anybody? 
Since when is children being hurt, groomed, affected by this, traumatized? Since when is that entertainment? I don't think that's entertaining. Clearly, Colleen thinks it's entertaining because she's been doing it to children her whole career and loving it. She also brought up a point about Miranda Sings saying it's not her responsibility to like worry about what's appropriate for children. Okay, which I can see that point. Like it is up to the parents what you let your kids watch. That is true. But if you know that all your fans are kids, you're literally in group chats with your fans. Why would you direct your content to be so sexually motivated and like sexually, all the sexual innuendos and stuff? I would not freaking do that if I knew that my audience was kids, especially as a mother. So I just find it really creepy, even though parents are definitely responsible for what they allow their kids to consume, it's still creepy, the stuff that she put out there with her knowing that children are watching her. That's what's creepy about it. No one ever said the parents aren't also responsible. Um, and she. I wanted to bring up something else really quick in regards to Colleen saying her content is for 13 and up. Then why did you collab with Jojo Siwa when she was around 12? Why did you have children on your channel? You put your own child, a very young, like what, was he like eight at the time? I don't know, a kid? Um, on your Miranda Sings channel. So why are you bringing children on your channel if you're claiming it's 13 and up? I didn't care one bit that Adam McIntyre was pretty much shunned and pushed out and nobody wanted anything to do with him for three years. He had to claw his way out of this dungeon that he was thrown in in the drama community and he had to build up his reputation himself, himself, for years to get past what people did to him and now you're just gonna make fun of and mock all of the victims and people who have said that you hurt them made them feel uncomfortable and all this stuff it's disgusting i would love to be a fly on the wall when her pr team gets a hold of her and has a meeting and is like how are we supposed to do damage control now colleen you literally done ruined your career it would have been very easy for her to get on and apologize, said she's going to go to therapy. She doesn't, you know, she needs to figure out why she wanted to be with children and be friends with children in the first place as a 30-year-old woman. And she could have easily said, like, I need to look deep inside myself and figure out why I'm doing these things and self-reflect, take some time off. And then I will come back and, like, take accountability, tell you what I've learned, what I've figured out. Like, she could have easily done that. But she's so arrogant and stubborn and hates Adam McIntyre so much that she is literally going to dismiss every single person that has come out and proven that she was inappropriate with them. I mean, this is worse. <laughs> like, let's, let's look at this, guys. We had James Charles say that he was sexting minors because he's desperate. And now we have Colleen Ballinger saying that she was inappropriate with minors because she's a loser and she's a creepy auntie at the Christmas party. <laughs> like what? These are like top tier influencers, you guys. These are top tier influencers with PR teams, management, all of these teams of people. And this is the stuff that they come up with when they get called out for being inappropriate with children. It's like... Dude, you guys need better people or at least listen to your people because damn, you guys suck at this. And then we can't forget Laura Lee's apology. Uh, Laura Lee and Manny Mue recently did a podcast, by the way, where they addressed the Colleen stuff and they got so much hate for it. It was not it. People were not liking it and they ended up deleting it. Let me know if you want a video on my thoughts about that, by the way. Another thing is, did Colleen give a shit when she was slandering and dragging her ex-husband and she was allowing all of her child fans to go after him it's like save the tears bitch nobody cares nobody cares about your tears because you have hurt so many people you have allowed so many people to get dragged and attacked and harassed your fans are literally threatening to kill people why didn't you address that colleen why didn't you address all of your crazy ass stands going out into the world and on the internet and threatening to kill people's animals, threatening to stab people for you? Where's the little song about that, bitch?
because... And you only just recently left the group chat, Colleen. This is not your past. This is not years ago. You just left recently. Like, do you think people are stupid? You are disgusting. You are a vile sewer rat. She really is. And I hope that she actually gets held accountable for what she has done to freaking children. And I am so sick of these nasty ass influencers getting away with this shit. It's not right. It's not right. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to get on rant about Colleen's awful freaking apology. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.